U.S. Central Command clarified that the drone was a Navy Broad Area Maritime Surveillance Demonstrator, a prototype naval variant of the 737 size Global Hawk. BAMS D carries cameras and a radar and is designed to swoop between high and low altitudes, alternately scanning wide areas for ships and individually identifying them. The shootdown of a U.S. Navy surveillance drone on June 20, 2019 underscores a weakness in the Pentagon's surveillance forces. Aside from a few classified vehicles, the U.S. military largely relies on slow, non-manned and unmanned aircraft for intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance. Those ISR systems are vulnerable to the latest Iranian, Chinese and Russian air defenses. The Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps claimed it shot down a U.S made Global Hawk surveillance drone flying in Iranian airspace near the Strait of Hormuz. U.S. Central Command clarified that the drone was a Navy Broad Area Maritime Surveillance Demonstrator, a prototype naval variant of the 737 size Global Hawk. BAMS D carries cameras and a radar and is designed to swoop between high and low altitudes, alternately scanning wide areas for ships and individually identifying them. Northrop built four BAMS D drones starting in 2008. The Navy has stationed two of them in the United Arab Emirates for operational use as it prepares to deploy the full MQ-4C naval version of the Global Hawk starting in late 2019. While it can fly as high as 65,000 feet, beyond the reach of many air defense systems, the BAMS-D is subsonic and lacks stealth features, making it vulnerable to the most powerful surface-to-air missiles. Iranian forces claim they used a version of the Buk M1 Road Mobile SAM to shoot down the BAMS-D. The IRGC also possesses Russian-made S-300 air defense systems. U.S. Air Force U-2 manned spy planes, RC-135 manned electronic intelligence aircraft, E-3 manned radar planes and RQ-4 and MQ-9 drones as well as Navy MQ-4S and P-8 patrolled planes hundreds of aircraft, in total all are what the military calls non-penetrating, meaning they are vulnerable to high-end air defenses.